Am I going to really spill the tea? Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you about the three most bizarre, most strange things that have happened to us or that we have witnessed on a cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, are you in the mood for a story time? Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk with you about the three things that we've actually seen, we've actually witnessed or been part of on a cruise that have been truly bizarre and strange. Now, I got the idea for this video after watching a video on Royal Caribbean Vlogs YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that video, you have to check it out. It's definitely a lot of fun. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Now, the stories I'm gonna tell you today are stories that I usually reserve for family and friends and maybe when I've had a drink or two and really things that I haven't talked about openly before. So I can't believe that I'm doing this video, but I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. It has to do with the occult, with Tom Cruise, and what happens to some passengers after they've had a little too much to drink. Now, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please do give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And then in the comments below, let me know your own stories. Let's get started. So the very first story has to do with a mysterious cruise ship that we came into contact with when we were on an ABC Islands cruise. So what happened was we were on our cruise and we docked in Aruba. As we got off our cruise ship in Aruba, there was a cruise ship that was docked right next to us and it was a lot smaller, but you could tell it was sort of a luxury cruise, but it was very, very simple, very understated. And it said on the cruise ship, well, it said free winds. And we thought, what kind of cruise line is that? Free winds? Is that a silver sea cruise ship? I, I don't know. I've never heard of that cruise ship before. It didn't even sound familiar to us. So we really wondered what cruise line is it? Now our curiosity really was piqued because we could see limousines that were pulling right up to the cruise ship, like right on the dock um, in Aruba and people were getting out and there was somebody greeting them. It looked like a butler of some sort and leading them up the gangway. It was obviously very different from any of the ways we've ever boarded a cruise ship before. Well, we continued on our way and we headed over to Palm Beach. We had a great time in Aruba. And then we came back, I guess probably around three o'clock or so, and we came back to our cruise ship. And as we were walking, we again had this curiosity because that cruise ship was still there, limousines were still pulling up, and then we wondered, are there diplomats on this cruise ship? Like, who is on this cruise ship that is arriving such important people to be arriving by limousine? Well, as we stood there pointing and gawking and, and a few other cruise passengers were doing the same, there was a cruise passenger on our ship that stopped us and let us know. They basically gave us the information and they explained to us that that ship that was called the Free Winds is actually a Scientology cruise ship. Now, after this video, you might want to Google all about it because there are definitely some mysteries surrounding this Scientology ship. But basically, this ship apparently docks in Aruba and in Curacao and pretty much sails around these three Dutch Caribbean islands. So we got back on the ship, showered, got dressed. Then we all met up in the piano bar. And honestly, we were kind of Googling things and looking up Tom Cruise information and, and who was rumored to be maybe kidnapped and being held on that cruise ship all sorts of things. In any case, we were kind of talking and gossiping a little bit in the piano bar and other people started to hear a little bit and people were curious and people were all sort of talking about it. Then the piano player, when she was finished, her set ran over to us. We had befriended her a little bit, so it wasn't the first time that we had met, but she came over to us and she said, what is it all about this cruise ship and Tom Cruise? So we all ran out onto the promenade deck and we were looking and peering below and looking to see who we could see on that ship. We even met a musician out on the promenade deck as well and he was telling us his theories about it in any case even my son really didn't know a lot about this and unfortunately he went down a little bit of a rabbit hole googling this to the point that he said to me mom this Scientology stuff kind of makes a little bit of sense and I thought oh no so that was my run-in with Scientology nothing against any Scientologists again but um, that is something that happened on our cruise. And thank goodness our son didn't convert to Scientology after this cruise, but it was a little bit strange to see. Please let me know, did you actually know about this cruise ship? At the time, I knew nothing about it and it completely surprised me. Story time number two. Now I feel like I'm gonna get into a little bit of trouble over this video, but I assure you, I have nothing against anybody's different religion or anybody's different belief system. And the next story, the third story, is gonna be much more lighthearted. But this genuinely happened. This was the time that we cruised with the Satanists. 
So let me tell you about it. We were on the Celebrity Summit heading to Bermuda and it was really hot. It was in the summertime in the month of July and everybody on the pool deck was pretty much in swimwear or in pool cover-ups or in shorts and a t-shirt. It was really, really very hot. And then we saw these two couples and they were walking down the stairs at the Lido deck and they were dressed in uh, black jeans, in a black shirt, each of them, the men and the women, uh, black studded belts with silver and like a symbolism around their neck. And I think somebody was in like a black choker collar. It just looked really out of place uh, for a Caribbean or a Bahamas or a Bermuda cruise. Just very, very different. So they really did stand out. Now I thought they probably just flew in that day. So they look a little bit different because they're still maybe in their clothing from, they came from maybe a cool weather climate. Well, as it turned out, we saw them later on that evening. We saw them on the pool deck the next day. We saw them on excursions and they were always wearing those same black jeans, the black shirt, and basically always these black outfits. And even in the evening time, sometimes the men were wearing cloaks. Now, as you can imagine, this did create a little bit of buzz among the other passengers, because it's definitely not something that you see very often on a celebrity cruise. And I'm imagining it's not exactly the dress code that celebrity was thinking of when it thought of evening chic. Now this third story is actually my favorite because it's one of my most fun memories from a cruise. So we were on a Mediterranean cruise on Royal Caribbean's Serenade of the Seas a few years ago, and it was an 11 day cruise. Well, around day 11, there was an activity at nighttime called the Quest. Now, if you've ever been on a Royal Caribbean cruise, then you know that they have an adult scavenger hunt called the Quest. And sometimes it can get a little bit risque. I mean, nothing terrible, but, it is adult and it does happen at 11 o'clock p.m. And so sometimes people are drinking a little bit and we've definitely seen some things at the Quest that usually kind of stay within those walls. So I'm gonna bring you in, tell you what happened uh, very close to me and honestly, it really did shock me at the time. So we were at the Quest with another couple that we had met during this cruise. Now I have to say this was an 11 day cruise. So by day nine or so, we'd become really quite friendly with them and quite a lot of other people on this cruise because it was a cruise ship with just a little over 2000 people. So a little bit of a smaller cruise ship where you do get to know people. So when uh, during this cruise, I guess the cruise director or the activities director was asking for volunteers to lead up the teams. This person, this friend said to me, Lana, do you want to be the team leader? They were looking for two women and two men to lead each team. And I said, oh, okay. I normally wouldn't volunteer for these things, but I was feeling a little bit brave. And I said, oh, okay. As long as I'm doing it with somebody else. And normally during the quest, um, some of the things that you need to find, get from the audience, um, your team is they'll say um find a cruise compass and you have to try to get it quicker than the other team so you get a cruise compass or a planner and then they might say we need a men's belt so you, somebody from the audience or your team throws a men's belt and you run up and you bring it to the cruise director or the entertainment director and they give you points if you're one of the first teams to bring that belt and then it gets to be that a woman's bra and and other things and it just goes on and on you never know where it's going to go so we were really having a lot of fun we were drinking a couple of sangrias we were laughing and by this point there was nothing going on at the quest that i hadn't seen before well at this point the entertainment director said something to the effect of let's take this up a notch we're all kind of tied and i want to be able to give out some points but i need to see the wildest the craziest things that anybody can do well this friend she looked at me and she said alana let's take off our tops and i said no and yep, her top came straight off, no bra. And yep, and the cruise director was like, no, 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 put your top back on. That's not what I meant. It's a no, 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 we're gonna get in trouble for this. And this really did happen on a cruise. And truthfully, this was a pretty conservative woman. It was like, really did, it did shock me. And I thought, oh no, thank God I didn't do that. And I didn't drink too much. And that's not anything that I would do, but it really did happen on a cruise. And well, it really was quite funny. So those are my three funny, strange, bizarre things that have happened on a cruise. I'd love to know from you, what are some of the strange things that you've seen on a cruise? Please let me know below. And if you did like this video, if you liked a bit of a story time rather than some of the tips that I often do, then please let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now. Happy cruising.